So the IDX integration that we've put into our leading agent cloud-based real estate CRM really is uh, wonderful in the sense that it, it's going to give you full insight as to what your leads are doing on your website. Uh, the way that it works, uh, as with everything in our system, we've tried to make it as simple as possible um, and as comprehensive as possible. So that way there's not a lot of learning curve and there's, there's a lot of value that it can bring you. So as you can see here, we're on a uh, real estate agent's website. And the way that most homeowners search, of course, is they uh, go to an agent's website and they'll just uh, do a search for any sort of property. Um, in this case, when we get some results back here, we'll see, let's see what comes up. So we've returned a few results here, search results that you can see. And theoretically, if I'm a, a homeowner looking to sell and maybe buy another home or just a buyer looking to buy a home, these homes might not fit whatever criterion I'm looking for. So I can basically create uh, an account and set up a listing alert on, on the agent website. And from that point, that's when the IDX of the website starts interfacing with our CRM. We uh, made a fictitious person in our CRM named Joe Smith, and we set up a couple of uh, listing alert searches on uh, this particular website here um, to show you how this all works. What happens uh, once once the once the homeowner makes a user account um, and creates their listing alerts, the information gathered in this case, uh, we we try to keep the barrier uh, of entry very low. We just ask for first name, last name, phone number, and email address. Uh, it's all customizable. You can ask for more, but many don't want more. Um, you know, you want to get people in, and then you can start building intelligence. Um, but in this case, the, the homeowner filled out that info, created an account. That automatically triggers a new uh, contact to be made in the CRM. And as an agent, you get an immediate notification letting you know that you have a new lead. So you can uh, click on the link in the notification or log into the CRM and check it out. And what you'll see are a couple of very important things. First off, you can see the saved searches for that particular lead. So in this case, you can see there were two searches made, uh, one for two-story homes in Del Mar and one for beachfront homes in uh, La Jolla. Now, besides that, and probably even more importantly, you can also take a look at all the listing views. So the way that this would work, anytime anything matches Joe Smith's save searches here, Joe's gonna get an automatic email in his inbox. Joe will go look at those properties and when, they, when he clicks on any of the properties in the email, it of course takes him out to your website. The reality is though, is that Joe's probably gonna continue searching other things because he's already on your site. He's now thinking about homes. So what our listing views tracker does is it doesn't just track the homes that Joe was sent that match the saved searches. It gives you an itemized list of every single property that Joe has searched for and looked at on your website. Um, not only that, over here you can see the number of views. It shows you how many times they've viewed the homes. So let's go to a list. In this case, it looks like this Joe Smith has looked at 16 properties. And you can see, you know, various, some of them he's looked at once, some of them five times, some of them two times. Um, and, and that's where the strength of the workflow of our CRM can start to take over. Because based on the number of views that you have in the, uh, the, the list here, you can set the CRM to actually uh, say, hey, uh, this guy looked at a property, say, more than three times. And so then it, it triggers that workflow and sends you an immediate uh, notification letting you know via, say, text message or even email, uh, letting you know that, that, you know, Joe Smith has an interest in this particular property. And then as, as the realtor, you know, you want to see what he's looking at. So you can look at the uh, list here and you can say, oh, yeah, Border Avenue, I saw he looked at that property three times. And so all you have to do is just click on the link and it'll open it right up in your website and you can get the property details before you call Joe Smith. So you can build a lot of really uh, great uh, intelligence on this person and see exactly what they're looking at. Even more importantly, while um, you, you, well, when you pick up the phone and start talking with them to, to start to qualify the lead and, and maybe set up some uh, showings, for instance, you can actually manage your control panel 
for your for the IDX uh, broker engine right in the CRM itself. So maybe Joe decides he's not looking for beachfront homes or he's maybe he's changed his price range. So very easily you can just click on a button and you can add new searches or edit searches. Uh, basically the intelligence is vast and, and again most importantly it's all in one spot in the CRM so you're not logging into a bunch of places and, and trying to connect different technologies. Everything works together, everything flows together and you've got one uniform umbrella that holds all your data.